All right, here we go. Question number 20 from our 1316 homework number seven in my lab math. It says plot the complex number on the complex plane and write it in polar form. So with uh, just a couple of notes here to get started, A plus BI is the standard form of a complex number in rectangular form, okay? In polar form, the standard form is R cosine theta plus I sine theta. That is polar form of a complex number. So what we currently have is rectangular form. We have an A and a B. Our complex number is 8 minus 8i. Eight so A is 8 and B is negative 8. To plot that in the complex plane, you plot that as if it was the ordered pair 8, negative 8, like an X and a Y, okay? So here we go. Let's see if we can put the dot in the right spot. And if this is too small, you can zoom in. And you can zoom in again as much as you need to so that you can see clearly. And I'm going to do that one more time. 8, negative 8 is going to be quadrant 4. And so what I can do is I can click on that dot and I can drag it around going to positive 8 and then to negative 8. So there's the point plotted. Now they also want me to convert this from rectangular to polar form, which means I need to find R and theta. So the formula for calculating R, that is the square root of A squared plus B squared, which will be the square root of 8 squared plus negative 8 squared. And that's going to be 64 plus 64, which is 128. And I believe that is going to score, uh, simplify uh, in simplest radical form as 8 square root of 2. And if you're not 100% sure about doing that manually, you can always do it electronically. So let's bring up our calculator big enough to where you can see him. There we go. And we can do square root of 8 squared plus negative 8 squared. And I think it's important to note that negative numbers have to go in parentheses. If you're going to do a negative number to a power, the negative number has to go in parentheses in order to get the correct outcome. So that tells us that the answer in simplest radical form is 8 square root of 2. That is our radius, and now for the angle. The formula for theta is the inverse tangent of B over A, and so our theta is going to be the inverse tangent of negative 8 over 8, which will simplify to the inverse tangent of negative 1, and in radians, that is negative pi over 4. Now then, if you remember back when, when I covered a polar to rectangular conversion for just ordered pairs, I said if x is negative, you have to add 180 to theta. The same goes for complex numbers. But this time, it's if a is negative, you have to add 180 to theta. So since our A is not negative, this is going to be the angle we need. However, it says to use an angle measure greater than zero and less than two pi. So since this angle is not in the uh, appropriate boundaries, what we're going to need to find is a corresponding angle that is from zero to two pi. So here's how we do that negative pi over 4 would be 45 degrees into quadrant 4 going clockwise. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how far is it 
from zero to this same location going counterclockwise? Well, from zero around to 45 degrees into quadrant four, that angle is going to be seven pi over four. And there is a couple of ways we can do that electronically. Uh, let's do the inverse tangent of negative one and show you that that is, in fact, negative pi over four. Negative one fourth pi is negative pi over four. And then if I want the equivalent positive angle, I would need to go a full circle, which means I need to add two pi to that angle. If I go a full circle, 360 degrees, which is two pi, that's going to put me back in the same location, but that's going to give me a positive answer. And that's how we get our seven pi over four with the calculator. <clears throat> so the only thing we need to do now is figure out which one of those answer choices is in the correct format. Remember I said polar is R cosine theta plus I sine theta. And the only answer choice that fits that format is answer choice D. And we need to put in the R and theta. So our radius was eight square root of two. Notice it does not want a decimal approximation. It says type an exact answer. So that's gonna to have to be the exact answer. And our theta in radians, uh, being an angle from zero to pi over two is gonna be seven pi over four. And can I copy and paste that? Mm, it's not going to let me copy and paste. So we'll have to input it again. 7 pi over 4. And we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.